Okay, folks, look, I'm going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room. And no, I don't mean you. My auntie right here is the elephant, right? Listen. Huh? I know. I, <laughs> hey, I know I'm going to have to hear that at the end, right? But look, you don't already see your thumbnail. You know what we're doing, right? So listen, we finna make it happen. But this right here, I've been blessed to have my auntie back here. Look, this is Chef Lorius. You guys can look, see your name all on the uh, bottom of the screen. Don't trip. It'll be in the description box. Go by. Check her out. Listen, and she got her cookbook, right? It's called Cali Bama. Listen, this is my family. Look, she out there. From, she from Cali, living in Texas, been all through Alabama, all of that. So listen, her recipes are fire. Now listen, I'm not finna over talk it. I'm gonna let her do her thing, but we mm -hmm. finna go ahead and get this dish going. Okay, well, I'm excited to be here. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we gonna start with the sausage to get going? All right. Okay, and you turn it on, because I, I, <laughs> yeah. I run the fire a little too long. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is get the sausage going, okay? Right. And we're gonna put a little oil in there. People say, sausage is greasy, it don't need oil. Okay, technically, yes, but when you're cooking it, I'll, I'll start you this. need a little bit? Okay, okay. there you go. Right. Okay. I did it and then said, there you go. <laughs> right. All right, now we're gonna- I should have let you have it and let it get stuck on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. So you wanna get that meat going first. Now I like to get the meat going first because that's how you get the flavor really in the oil. So then when we go to add the vegetables, Absolutely. then they are gonna all have it. Now you cut up the pepper because I don't fool with peppers because I have done enough of messing my eyes up and I'm chopping up this shallot right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. Now, My knife is sharp, but I don't know what's happening right here. You know what? This pepper is almost like it's made out of rubber. <laughs> you know, then I'm trying to make sure it don't slip. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and de-seed this. Yeah, see, the, I've had, I've put the seeds in my eyes more than one time. But you know something? I love shallots more than onions, and a lot of recipes call for the onion, but I'll switch it to a shallot even if it doesn't say it, because I like to call shallots the friendlier, lighter cousin to onions. Now, being honest with you, mm -hmm. I prefer to have a shallot yeah. over the onion. Especially in a sauce. Yes. Because it's much more gentle and it's just not strong. Sometimes onions get a little too strong, you know. They act like them kind of people who just want to take over. And you're like, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna need you to tr I'm gonna need you to calm down. But a shallot don't do that. Right. The shallot says, hello, I'm happy to be here. May I please join the party? I have something to offer. And you think to yourself, why? Of course you can. That's what a shallot is. So if you're wondering, should I do a shallot or should I do an onion, do a shallot. But if you got to do an onion, get a Vidalia. Get a yellow one. Ooh. You like yellow I like or yellow. white? I yeah. do too. It depends on what I'm doing. If I'm making tacos though, honestly, or something like that, the white is good. Now I'm not a big knife skills person, y'all. So don't, don't talk about my knife skills. My stuff be cut up and you gonna eat it. Hey, well, you know How what? About that? Uh, Oh, that's it. Some people do, I, I like when they do the little fancy stuff. I don't know nothing about all that. So, I'm gonna break this meat up. And look, you know what? Using a meat masher, folks. Okay, so look, I just finished dicing up these red peppers, right? Now, don't forget the full ingredient list will be on my website. That's smokinganddrillingwithab.com and that's w-i-t-a-b.com. Now, she got this broke down. That's, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's perfect. You know what? I can even smell the uh, the extra virgin olive oil because mm -hmm. that's garlic infused. I can smell it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I cook with, folks. Yeah. And that's by that branch by uh, branch and vine. Now, let me just talk about this when it comes to the Parmesan cheese or any cheese. It's best to grade your own cheese. That's why I brought it back. We are gonna use about a third cup, you guys. But look, I did mine as you can see. This right here doesn't have that waxy film on it. You know what I mean? So we don't have to worry about that being inside of there. And they put that waxy film. Uh, what is that to keep it from like the, sticking in the bag? And all the bag yeah. Yeah. You don't want that. Mm -hmm. And this melts much, much better. Oh, yeah. You'll know the difference. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. We're going to start adding stuff. Let's go. Okay, so now you want to add the onions. I'm going to add the onions. Oh, and I'm the one who just talked about the shallots versus the onions, and I said onions. Right. Onion. Add the shallots. There you go. Right. Now, all right. I always say this too, I know even chefs, everybody including yourself have told me in the past, mm -hmm. it doesn't make a difference. I could put all my veggies in, right, at mm -hmm. one time, but I like to, to me, it seemed like onion or anything in that family takes a little bit longer than everything else. So it does to get a little softer. Right, right, right. It does. Right, right. And I find if you put it all in together, the other stuff is done and you're right. still waiting on the onions and then you're trying to turn it down and it's just a mess. Right, right, right. right. Oh yeah, this is good. Oh, okay. Did you smell it? Oh yeah, I can smell it. Oh. Hey, okay. super easy, simple dish to make. If I hadn't said it before, I don't even think I even said what the name of the dish is. Listen, it's just a creamy Cajun <laughs> sausage pasta. That's what it is. But now I'm gonna go ahead and start 
introducing yeah. my red peppers. I like the color. So I don't know about you guys. I like to see when I'm cooking, it's like art for me. Mm -hmm. I like to use my hands a lot of the time and I like to see the color. Yeah. You know, so that does it for me. And you can use in these recipes, you can switch it up. You know what I'm saying? If you want to use a green pepper, right? if you want to use a yellow bell pepper, right. whatever you want. Right. But right. to really get that good flavor, use this red one and that looks mm -hmm. good in there. Yeah. You want me to hit it with the garlic? You ready? Go ahead. Okay. Now, garlic paste. This is your friend. If you are not using garlic paste, get your life. <laughs> okay, so look, everybody on this channel, look, they've been asking me why am I using that. I'm trying to get rid of this garlic paste. You, you That's are? why. Oh, never mind. You know what I mean? Do, uh, do what AB said. Well, you know why? Because, uh, you know, I love uh, fresh garlic. I like, yeah. I got a mentor that just brings a big smile to my face. Okay, you know never I mean? mind. So, yeah. No, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. I like it because it's the, it's the closest thing to really uh, doing your own fresh garlic, but not the jar. But not the jar, okay. The jar where it's just swimming in garlic juice, that don't work. Oh, this looks good. Okay, okay. Cajun powder? Cajun, let's go. Okay, here we go. Now, if you think this is too much Cajun powder, you might be right, I don't know. You also might be wrong. If yeah, your people you like it that. real, real, if your people like it really spicy, add you some more. If they want it less, use less. And you can always use cream to break it down. We'll show you that as we get to it. Ooh. Good Lord, you know what? This is this could be a sandwich on its own. <laughs> it's a breakfast. Hey, you know what? Let me go get a tortilla and heat it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's make a burrito. We got some oregano. Yes. Now tomato paste is really good because it just it deepens the flavor of dishes. I found it doesn't take over, but it really, really just gives it a deep, <laughs> rich flavor that you can. I was gonna I'm say you showing that. out, but no. I'm sorry. Just the way she talked, listen, she's <laughs> much, much better. I know you guys put up with me talking like, hey, this is good. Hey, red, uh, the red uh, tomato paste, it make it, you know, a little full and rich. It's about as far as I go with my vocabulary. But she just gave you a description that's spot on it's right funny. there. Okay, so this is what I want to show you. We did this off camera. There's no need for me to show it. And I like using this brand too right here, because look, they put it right there. 12 to 13 minutes for al dente, right? Obviously, you guys can see it. We're using rigatoni, you know, pasta. This is it right here, right? Now, one of the key things, if you guys pay attention right here, look, I saved back almost two cups of that pasta water. Listen, the starches and everything in here, this is gonna help it be creamy and help the cheese and everything stick to the pasta. That you part. know what I'm saying? Hey, this part. <laughs> always save the pasta water. Yeah, always save it. I'm gonna put it in now, you ready? Okay. Okay, we're gonna put it in. It might seem like it's deglazing the pan a little bit, getting all the flavor bits up, but really you're just getting a chance to get all, oh my God, get all of these flavors mixed in here. And like we were saying, it's the starches from the pasta, makes this sauce even creamier, helps the cheese melt better. Whew. What are you doing next year? <laughs> I just want to hey, stir it in like you did right now so they could just see it. Look, Look, this is what happens when I get some help in the kitchen. I made with this. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. You see all that on the side right there? That's your flavor, folks. So you know the flavors inside of there, right? Oh my God. Yeah. So let me go ahead and check my, my check fire. The check the flame. I'm raising it up just a little bit okay. to a medium high. And the Parmesan, it's a third cup. Right. Oh. Just because you're doing that, we finna show out. Please do. You know oh, I mean? thank uh, God. This is just for a little eye candy. Yeah. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do is add a half a block of cream cheese. Now, cream cheese is what's gonna really make it creamy. You could put the whole block in, but I suggest pull it apart like She's this. She's preaching and teaching okay? right now, folks. Because when you pull it apart, you're able to, it's easier to mix in and melt in. That way you don't just have one big chunk. And you see how we're stirring with the spatula? The reason we're stirring with the spatula is because as you stir around and get to the bottom, you can make sure that nothing is sticking. A spoon stirs, but a spatula really helps you get a good mix, okay? Okay, so now that I'm done with it here, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some of this in here. Not some of it, I'm gonna add all of it in there. It's good to put the parsley in there. And this is a nice rough chop, so that way you still see it in there, so you still get the color action and everything. Right. And it really does something for the flavor. We think parsley has no flavor, but it does a little something. Right. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty though. Okay, you gotta get another pretty shot. I like pretty food. If it's <laughs> ugly, I don't wanna eat it. Right, that's right, <laughs> that's right. Hey, so look, looking at this right now, everybody that's got a little season, a little time under their belt with cooking, looking at this, tell me what you would add. Talk to me down in the comment section below. I'm gonna give you guys a hint. Mm -hmm. I know we're talking about Cajun, but I would have liked to use some sun-dried tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Maybe like cut a couple of them up, you know, get them fine, you know, for the taste, mm -hmm. and then we leave the rest of them whole because those look good. Yeah, right. they do, they do, yeah. they do. I would add a little bit of garlic better than bouillon in there. 
Ooh. or something, you know what I mean? Ooh. Just to kind of deepen Ooh. that garlic flavor just a little bit. But hey, where else are you getting this kind of talk like that, folks? <laughs> Look, it's happening to us in real time. Real time. You know what I mean? Uh, this video going out, what's today? Uh, today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. This video will be out Friday at 1 o'clock. Now y'all have something to make for dinner. Right. Okay. <laughs> now remember, we uh, we put that pasta water in there, right? So remember, that's supposed to make it adhere to, and we want it to be creamy. So I want you guys to check this out right here. Here we go. You ready? Yep, I'm out the way. All right. Oh my God, this looks so good. Now I'm just gonna start stirring this around. Oh, and you know you can do this in under 30 minutes. So this is like a weeknight meal. I mean, this is easy cooking. This don't take forever. No. And look at this. Look at it, folks. Oh. Look at it. The sausage in there, and look at the parsley. Right. You got the flakes, you got the red peppers, you got the shallots, the kinder, gentler cousin to the onions. Some Parmesan and the creamy key in there is that cream cheese. Now, I didn't say nothing about this too. A lot of people follow the recipes verbatim, mm. right? I'm using rigatoni. Use whatever pasta noodle you want. Yes. You want to use macaroni elbows, use Do it. It, it doesn't yep. make no difference. This is about how you want it to look. But this right here is right. Now, you know I got to go ahead and go overboard with something. Come hey, on. Hey, guess what folks? It's Parmesan time. Come on, ooh. All right, folks, so as you can see, all of the creaminess stuck to the pasta. That's what you want to have, right? You can still see where we put the uh, the parsley in there. So now I'm going to bring it around this way so you guys can just see it. Look at that right there. Oh, I want some. Oh, yeah. The only thing missing right now is some garlic bread. Oh, what was I thinking? Oh, yeah. It's okay. We were so busy excited to cook together. We didn't <laughs> think about that part. Right, right, right. Oh, man. Okay, folks, now check it out. Now, we didn't finish making this, mm. this dish right here, Star. Meaning we done took a lot of pictures of it, love what we see. Uh, that's what got you guys here today, right? So, first thing I'm getting ready to do is, I'm gonna put a little bit, you can go ahead and get you something from wherever. You know I'm what I mean? I'm gonna get over there so we can leave a pretty bowl here for them okay. to see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, that's good. She wanted to get that one because I made sure I got a lot of that, <laughs> that, that ground sausage in there. I ain't no fool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, it's good, okay, I can't wait. Oh, yeah. All right, so, listen. Hey, I was about to say, listen, like I got something to say. My mouth is watering. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Now this right here is fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, this is an understatement. You know what I mean? Uh, try this, you gotta come back and let me know what you guys think. I want you guys to tell me exactly what you guys would do to like level this up. You can basically look at this and see what you would like to add. She mentioned it earlier, any of the other color uh, bell peppers, you know what I mean? Uh, you can add that, you can add sausage to it, like the whole, you know me, I love that chicken and dewey, right? So I would like to have yes. some of that in here too. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh, just whatever you have, hey, I got one for you. You could even have some leftover, like if you got chicken, say mm -hmm. you got roasted chicken, you could have went and shredded it down, Pop added it that there. to it. Listen, I love recipes like this because you can take, clean out your refrigerator mm -hmm. and make something epic. Mm -hmm. Now, I've done a lot of talking. Listen, this is my fam right here, Chef Loria. You guys might know her because I always call her Auntie Lori. You know what I mean? Uh, these are my folks right here. <laughs> yes. So listen, if you like this kind of content, like to see me cooking with different people, let me know down in the comment section below also. Thank Don't you. forget, her name is right there. Come on, stop it. Her name is right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you guys go by, check her out. It's good to see other chefs out here doing their thing. You know what I mean? You can mix, combine, you'll find something that she do that you guys like. You know what I mean? So just follow. There's enough room for us all. Man, she done messed me up. You know what I was about to say. Listen, if you do to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know how I leave all of my videos, right? I'm out. Peace. Thank you.